Now then, Douglas McMaster reporting for the Zero Waste Cooking School. Today, we're at Silo. We are making the Siloaf, which is a, um, a, a sourdough bread that has been at the heart of our business since the day we started. Once upon that time, way back when, we had a single limitation. We did not have a bin. Now this forced us to trade directly with farmers rather than wholesalers. But the problem is farmers don't grow flour, they grow wheat. Uh, now this necessitated the use of a flour mill. That was the moment that Silo was born, the ideas became crystal clear and the, uh, the flour mill became the logo. More importantly, that's the moment I knew that zero waste was the future of food. It's a more delicious future and it's the future that the environment wants. A decade later and the Siloaf is on fine form. 100% of the wheat is coming from Duchess Farm. And um, I guess that's enough of the why. Let's talk about the how and, uh, and hit the mill. We're just going to pop the wheat into the, into the silo. This feeds the grain into the belly of the flour mill where the stones will kiss. Uh, we want a nice tight kiss, you know, really passionate. Um, the tighter the kiss, the finer the flour, that will then create a, a sexy silo. So you shouldn't feel anything coarse in your fingers. So this is Liz Brun. This is from Abbey. So it's, it just looks like grass, which is essentially yeah. what it is. Yeah. And I was trying to see if you can get see, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Some of the little fetusy things are starting to come through. Uh, we use einkorn and a variety of other ancient wheats, but it's basically, as you can see, a very natural product. And um, that's the beauty of our supply chain. Things are that much more alive and that much more delicious, and there's that much more integrity. It's nowhere near as strong. It's really weak. It's got a really low gluten percentage, but that's okay. Gluten intolerance exists because of um, what we do to flour. This is what nature intended. The flour we consume en masse across the world is hyper-processed dust. It's not even a living thing anymore, it's just dust. And then of course our bodies are saying, you know, what the hell is this? This isn't food, this isn't wheat. And so it rejects it, it rejects it and that's why we have gluten intolerance. This is what nature intended. This is the first step in this silo. It's called autolyse, autolyse, not sure how you pronounce that word. Um, basically it's uh, mixing the flour and water together and then, and then we just let it sit for a while. We're activating the enzymes in the flour to stimulate the proteins. Um, now this is starting the gluten development and this very delicate step means that we do not have to faff around uh, kneading the bread. Now our uh, flour and water's had an hour um, to hydrate. This is where we put in the starter. So after we pop the starter in to the dough, uh, we just give it a little mix, just to uh, mix it round. Then we're gonna pop in the salt. Go on, Jesse. Beautiful, silky dough. We fold the sourdough um, to develop the gluten network to build strength and structure. So we're going to keep our dough at 27 to 30 degrees in its temperature and every 20 minutes we're going to give it another fold. Yeah. The key to successful bulk fermentation is making sure the dough is proofing under tension. So we've just done the pre-shape. Um, this is very simple. We just want a nice round dough to make it easy to work with on our final shaping. This is the 
final stage of the silo. Essentially, we are um, shaping it into these um, bannetons, which are gonna go into our bread fridge overnight, have a little sleep, and then we're gonna bake them fresh in the morning. The reason we grow heritage wheats over conventional wheats or nor normal wheat, and you realize that wheat has been bred purely for yield, like how much you get. So you get a really big ear, so the, the grain on top you get, that's really big, really short straw, um, and it all, all the energy from the plant goes to the head, but it's actually quite a weak plant. You need to apply pesticides and fertilizers. It needs, it needs a chemical lift to, uh, to get that massive yield because you're taking so much out of it. Um, and then it sort of deplete, it does deplete the soil. You need to put more into the soil to grow it again, but it's, it's nutritious. It's like got all of the parts of the grain and the stuff that we make. Um, and then heritage also for us means genetic diversity. When we're rolling uh, the bread, you can see we've dusted it in the bran. So the bran is obviously the byproduct from milling the flour, and then we, um, yeah, we dust it, and so there's zero waste, and yeah, we're reintroducing that delicious bran flavour to the silo. I love quite quite dark. Uh, that dark crust is a delicious flavour. There we have the sexy silo. But let's not forget its bright, cheesy, delicious lover. The butter will be revealed in a video somewhere in the near future. Praise be. This is the end of this silo transmission.